Well, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Zane. And first of all, I would like to apologize for the one week, almost two weeks, of hiatus that I have. Like, I had a lot of tests, and yeah, a lot of stuff to get done. And I just couldn't record, and I wasn't playing very well either. So yeah, that was that is why I had a break. I needed a break. But now I'm back with another video, and as requested, this is a log bay video. You can probably already knew from the title and thumbnail but yeah uh we got we got this and let's just open the chest and then we can go over all the replays not all of them some of them and yeah but you're going to see a lot of vlog bay on my channel in the future so yeah let's open this um gold 22k gold bomb tower not good moon tech great rocket inferno tower so far really good chest skeleton barrel nice goblin heart Decent Musketeer I want to get a max. I should like Musketeer now, although I do hate the pump. Very annoying. Lightning, brilliant. We ha we get a legendary. Hopefully this is a minor princess. I really want a minor princess. And uh, uh, I guess it's alright. So yeah. This starts in 12 hours twelve hours and yeah, this is it's 1 a.m. right now. But yeah, I don't want to hop into another challenge. Just pick okay I am. It's for you guys. I am gonna hop into the challenge. And yeah, let's just share this. This is the twelfth win. And actually this match is yeah, the, okay, this wasn't a very good match, but let's just show you. I am running the Inferno Tower instead of the Tornado just because there's a lot of Golem and Mega Knight and it's just beat down in general. And I don't like the tornado in GC is because sometimes you can face some really weird decks and you just lose because of not having an inferno tower and also I'm not good at tornado I actually suck at tornado so I don't like using the tornado although don't get me wrong the tornado is a is the best version of this deck when played under um, maybe a best of five rule like CCGS the tornado is better so Going back into the match, um, this is a golem match. Some people have a hard time dealing with golem, but what I do is I just play the princess at the back. Here he pumped up. I rock it and now he has to go on the offensive. And see, so separating the night witch from the golem and using my inferno tower. And hopefully, see, <laughs> I had muted him, so I did not know he was saying good game. But now I put a barrel right at the center because I knew I had outcycled him here. I was sloppy with my log, else I could have saved my princess. I just popped the princess down to the mega minion. Two shots with the princess and the mega minion doesn't get a hit. Here it does because my princess last shot, the second shot, was a bit late. Again, I misplay a uh, knight, which wasn't necessary. I should have just let the baby dragon get my princess and then use my ice spirit. Here again, I rock here and he overcommits, and the knight gets a va gets value. It gets a ton of damage. As you can see, he is up on elixir just because we wasted our knight, and he did not defend that. Although we do have a damage lead, but that is yeah. so here. We know that he has a log in cycle, so what we do is use a juke barrel, and then go the other lane again. Because he just uses log. Because we don't want him to make. You know, a massive push that we cannot stop. Golem is good at that. They make these huge pushes that we just can't stop. Now he has to poison the princess, and we just use the princess at the, back, at the behind the tower, get splash damage, and then we know again that he has the login cycle. So what we do is again a juke barrel. This time he does manage to see it. And we're gonna try. We we get a read on him. This time I'm not sloppy with my log. We get damage on the other side with the princess. Now he has to deal with the princess. We're gonna stack up another princess the left side so he cannot poison all of that. He has to choose what to poison. We're gonna let that mega minion do his thing. And again, same thing. We know he has a log in cycle. What we do is pay out a log, and then go 
really see this is going to be a juke barrel again because we keep track uh we keep track of the cycles that is the most important thing you have to do while playing up but you have to keep track of the cycle and now we out cycle him and i think this is just tower okay in, no it's not a tower it, this gets it really low and yeah he just yeah he now just puts an elixir collector at the fridge and that's gg uh one of the important things that you have to do with Lock Bay is win the mirror matchup. Although I suck at the mirror matchup, but yeah, you still have to be good at it. And I lost to Lava Hound, which which is a match I should be winning. But I got yeah, I got overconfident. I was playing my damage too much. Both his towers under 800, and yeah. So here is versus Hog Mega Knight because some people uh, find diffi difficulty versus this deck. Although you should always be winning. The Hulk Mega Knight matches like yeah all the time. It's one of those uh, decks that that Logby just beats outright. One of the only the only thing the only time you you're ever gonna lose is when they get a value Mega Knight. Here I had to put uh, the poison and with the poison radius and the over time effect. Uh, I just had to put my Goblin Gang in the poison to mitigate damage. So here I know now, and I'm not. I'm going to be trying to not play Princess and other stuff near the left hand side. I'm going to put, put a Princess at the opposite lane. By the way, um, read the description. I am going to put my guide on the Princess. I actually write, wrote a guide on the Princess. I posted it on Reddit. So if anyone is interested in uh, in depth. Guide, a beginner's guide actually in that beginner's guide on the princess please read and you, you're also free to comment so here because i do have a lead i could have uh, rocketed that but i did not want to pull pull any chief paths out here so i thought nah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be rocketing inferno dragons when i don't have to here is in my inferno tower cleans up I don't overcommit. Now I know he doesn't have login cycle. I'm gonna put my goblin barrel at the at the tower. And ice spirit, the hog is just gonna get one shot. If you use ice spirit plus goblin gang, the hog doesn't get any shots. Like literally no shots. And he still has to deal with the goblin gang. It's, it's a lot of damage. Here I thought he would be using his um that's what I call a minions, but he did not. So that was a very well played Inferno Dragon and Sap on his part. And what I do now is use the Inferno Tower, which can just stop a Hook Rider and Ice Spirit. This is a pretty deadly push. And then we're going to ignore the Goblins because, yeah, we need to get an Elixir advantage and I'll cycle him. So again, I'm going to fast forward this a bit. So here. He places a Mega Knight, we use an Ice Spirit and Inferno Tower to get rid of the Mega Knight and so keeping the Inferno Tower alive. So now he even if he used a hog, our Inferno Tower would you know, kill the hog and we'll, we'll still be in the game. So here we we could just rocket at his tower, but we still use Goblin Barrel because there's still time, we just have to defend. And that's GG. Another hard matchup. I, I didn't face any expos. Um, so yeah, here this is one of the harder matchups because uh, with this quick cycle graveyard actually hard counters you. If it's poison graveyard, you can't. Ha you, you do have lion log, but with a smaller graveyard radius and the uh, skeleton um, spawning at the ring, it's harder to play. And by the way guys, I f I'm sorry that I did not do any live, the last one's live, because yeah, I'm not, I wasn't feeling up to it, I guess. And these matches were really long, and I was just practicing for CCGS challenge tomorrow. This video is going to be out tomorrow if I finish the CCGS challenge, get 20 wins again. I'm going to try to get it with a different deck second time. I'm going to do it a second time. 
if I do get it the first time. So first time, obviously I'm going to be using log bay again. And second time, I don't know what I'm going to be using. Probably three musketeers, or maybe I'm not graveyard because I don't, I'm not good, I'm not good with, good with it anymore. Um, expo, I really like expo. So yeah, I might use that. So here, um, this match, he got a, such a lead on me. Uh, what I have to do is get his tower really low, take his tower, see 400, I'm, I'm so behind, but I'm going to be rocketing, juke barreling him and trying to get his tower down here. I knew he was going to place um, Night Witch and after I've got a second tower, all I had to do is not let any of his um, tanks go through, and my, both my towers could just uh, kill the graveyard really fast, so m mitigating any damage and not playing princess princess at near the tower because he can just poison it. Here, yeah, clipping with log, using my princess to get chip damage, and then rocket cycling and out cycling some uh, his log when he uses his log. Or, is, this was a really long match and very well fought from both our sides. Here. Yeah. Finally, this was a match with 29 seconds remaining. We win it. And le yeah, let's do one or two live games. So yeah, basically you know how to play. Good luck, Black Fox from Church Street. So what usually I do is just start with an Ice Spirit because I like having my princess like so. And we knew he. This was that was Juke Barrel. So what we did was. Okay, we actually have to defend this. So, what, what he has been uh, showing us is Furnace, Minions, Goblin Gang, Ice Wizard. I don't think he has shown his log, so we're going to test the waters out. And I don't think there's a log. And what are we supposed to do? We're just going to use our knight. Um, I'm not keen on taking damage on this side, so we're going to use our ice spirit. He now has his ice wizard in cycle. Our ice spirit is going to hopefully yeah, catch that. And I'm not sure if he has a miner. Pardon me if I make any mistakes during this match because it's yeah it's almost 2 a.m. and I am pretty sleepy. So as he has okay he does have fire spirits which is pretty nice a pretty decent counter. We don't miss, but what what we we don't miss but we lag. Okay. Okay. We lagged so much. Guys, if if we if, if we lose this, I'm going to be so mad because you have seen that I did not make any misplays. Well, I have Well, hopefully we're not going to uh, we're not going to lose this because we're, because we're playing it really well. And I'm not sure what to do, so I'm just going to lock this, which is a pretty bad play. But we're going to use our Ice Spirit and Goblin Gang to please drop. Nothing is dropping. And we're going to rocket that because you know, we have to rocket it. So here. All we have to do, yeah, is cycle to another rocket. Basically, yeah, we win. Good game. So I'm sorry with the lag in a hole, but yeah, we did win it, and yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Anyways, this is my video on Log Bay. You're gonna see a more detailed and more high quality gameplay on my next video because that is 
because I'm going to be uh, using it in the CCGS 20 win challenge and hopefully get 20 wins for you guys. And if I if you don't like log pay, I'm going to do it again the second time. Not going to be using log pay because you're going to be using something else. And yeah, hopefully you like it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe because I, my goal is to have 500 subs at the end of the year. And yeah, guys, take care. Goodbye. And yeah, take care, basically.